interpreters at the Helen Schuler Nature Center here in Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. Today, I'm going to head out on a discovery walk in search of signs of spring. Why don't you come along? Look, I found some brown fungus on the side of this branch. But I have to admit, the lure of the green still calls me. Oh, but look at the green of the moss on this fallen log. Oh, it looks so vibrant with the sun's rays on it. Now look at that, the way the light's shining on that lichen, it's showing up green. All us Canadians are looking for green everywhere. We're so desperate for spring to arrive. As I head out of the shaded area where the shrubs and trees are growing, you'll start to notice that the grass is showing green. So obviously, an area where there's more sun shining, you'll get to see the grass coming greener sooner. Oh, there goes a robin. So just look behind me here. You can start to see the green. I'm going to head over there now and see what activity of spring is happening in Indian Battle Park. Can you hear it? That's a robin. A sure sign of spring. Even if the light angle doesn't show the telltale red breast of the robin, you might be able to recognize it from its running and pausing gait. As I was walking along, looking down, I've come across what looks like cottontail rabbit fur. Look at this piece. It's so fluffy. It's a great horned owl. One of our most common owls here in the Lethbridge River Valley. The brown mottled feathers are great for camouflaging. They match the bark of the trees around them. Look to the left of the logs, sitting ever so still, a goose on her nest. And over here, her mate feeding. Oh, he's really digging for something. can actually hear snapping of roots. When he pulls, there must be some tender roots beneath the water there. Here we can see green on the choke cherries. The leaves are about ready to come out. You'll see here that some plants have more reddish buds that often actually turn green later on in the spring when the leaves are fully out. All that waiting for spring and yet it seems that within a week the coolies turn from brown to green. We are looking out over Indian Battle Park. I'm up on the pedestrian bridge right along Whoop Up Drive. It's worth taking a walk here, perhaps on a less windy day than me, 
but if you look out over the canopy of the cottonwood trees, we're just starting to see a hue of reds and greens as we start to see the cottonwood trees, male and female buds unfurl. Hope you make the effort to have a walk along here and look out over the tree canopy. The leaves of the golden currant are already out. These are often the first shrubs to unfurl their leaves. If we look closely at what looks like a brown stone upon the grass, it's a ground squirrel. You might know them as gophers. While Richardson's ground squirrels are native prairie dwellers. You can see the eyes on the side of its head. They provide excellent peripheral vision. That helps ground squirrels to watch for and be alert to approaching predators that may be nearby. It's flicking its tail. Usually they are so quick to just run down their holes to the safety of their underground burrows. It's got a mouthful of dried grass. I wonder if it's been collecting it to use as nesting material. I guess it is spring. Perhaps it's preparing for babies. It's this little guy in this hole. You can see his whole body put into the energy of making that one little call. I sure feel refreshed knowing there are signs of spring unfurling before us here in Indian Battle Park in the Lethbridge River Valley. Join me next week as we go on another discovery walk.